Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. Uh, and that was my, my little opening there. Just to say welcome to the first proper episode of the uh, Hearts of Iron 3 Soviet Union campaign. Uh, and let's jump straight in because we're already building a little bit of uh, momentum here with the amount of IC that we've got on the build. Let's keep it going. So Norway, let's accept that and let's save the game. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Very good. It's looking pretty stable. Oh, and we're lucky enough to have a rebellion in another pretty reachable spot. Cool, we've won that battle. And let's make sure that we catch them. I must say, I do find rebellions a little bit frustrating, but oh well. Hopefully we'll easily handle them. After playing the UK campaign, I'm not used to having to wait this long to attack. There we go. Dealt with the small issues that we've had to face so far. And we are building a lot of IC. At about the 10,000 mark for supplies, I'll probably phone that in and switch it. Oh, and we've got a little bit extra now, which means it's time to build more IC. So I think we're building everywhere in the south here. We're not building there, but we are building the place next to it. So let's, let's get there as well. And then there'll be a few places here to build. Some IC. We can get to sort of, you know, <coughs> September time with a lot of IC built. That'll be really positive. Right, let's keep time going. Because the more another two there so let's put a little bit into what was it called Egisk and as of as a gay as a once again I really apologize to any Russians if I'm butchering pronunciation because uh, I feel like I probably am so I'm very sorry for that don't think I have any Russian viewers uh, please comment if you're a Russian viewer and you're looking forward to the Soviet campaign I mean I've, I've never actually done any research on on how the Soviet Union is actually viewed within Russia um, as a state on on because of course when it was you know um, when the Soviet Union split up so to speak um, I don't know sort of how the average Russian actually feels about that I assume positive because I mean it wasn't exactly um, you know a very friendly <coughs> uh, state um, but I'd be interested to hear, sort of, from Russian people, what, what you think of the Soviet Union. What, you know, anyone that maybe, um, maybe someone that w was born in the 90s, like I was, uh, you know, post-Soviet Union. I assume it's a better life for you than it would have been under them. Not sure what the point of me talking about that was, but that was more my general rambles. Right, and I'm still doing the uh, the UK campaign, uh, which is going really well. I had a couple of speed bumps in the latest episode that I just recorded, but not not nothing that I don't think we can't handle. Um, what do you think we should go for? I think historically they would have gone for heavy anti-tank guns, so I'm going to go for the historical option. Uh, we're going to go for artillery, normal artillery, recon cav, yes. Uh, we're going to go for artillery on that. Um, now, if we do that one, is there any reason not to do that one to get the minus five revolt risk? Let's do it. Yep. Yep. And I do want stronger units. Take all that. 
Tyler prepare our budget. Lithuania want a trade deal. Everyone wants a trade deal with us. We're hot property, hot shit. Canada want a trade deal. I say happy to do all of these trade deals. And hopefully we'll start getting our first text coming up as being finished soon. Okay, that, we're losing a really large amount of supply now. So, supplies 99. We'll put that to 90. Let's have a quick look at our... Right, so we are trading some supplies away. Lithuania, I'm going to cancel that actually, because we don't want to, you know, do that. Uh, right, so major workers strike. Find and arrest the strike leaders. that's sorted out our supply issues now. No. No. So we've got a single unit here that we can use to suppress. Why are we going that way around? Stick to the good roads. Very good. Attack into there. Don't want to do that. Both supply trade deals. We don't want to do supply trade deals. We'll we'll leave that by the wayside. We're pretty much equal on supply to uh, ratios there. Happy to pay that. We're upgrading everything slowly but surely. And I think we've now got a full production queue. Worth of stuff there. I didn't want to do that. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. There we go. Let's just make sure we take that back. Perfect. We're uh, handling any revolts at the moment quite well. And we can fund about 60% of our production at the moment. Which is positive. Don't want to do supply things. Come on. The real question is, will anyone sell us supply? So, if we want to buy stuff from you... They're not interested. France, can we buy some of your beautiful supplies? No. Soviets, that's us. Oh, we're one of the only places that's actually running at a positive. It's very interesting. Right, so this is where it gets a bit frustrating to handle these bloody revolts. So I'm going to send... Where's closer? I've got a cavalry division there. Let's send, I think, that infantry division. That's probably better. A 
thing is, I want to sell something to somewhere. So, I wonder who has a deficit that would be willing to buy from us. No, you don't want to buy rare materials, France? Okay. Oh, you'll probably... You'll do it, won't you? Yeah. No one's interested in a trade offering. Well, fuck it. More, mate. Right, so some fucker has uh, decided to... Right, we sorted out our deficit on money at least. We still have over 50% of our build queue going, which is very good. Just got w rid of what was left of our little bit of descent. So up to 127. This game just had a little bit of a, a pause there for a minute. Uh, we'll take that. It's nothing particularly special. It's just a heavy tank brigade, but the USA just got a debuff. We have 62 spies at the moment available, so we're building up that spy amount very quickly. And Italy took Abyssinia, uh, so we're going to get our militia unit back soon. And our officer ratio is looking pretty decent as well. We're just going to build that up as quickly as we can. Because we've got the purge coming relatively soon. And the better that is, the easier it will be to recover. Right, so we've just got a load of supply production technologies. I'm going to keep them ticking. going to turn up the uh, volume a little bit. Right, it's June. We've got a surge of volunteers. So that helps with our manpower a little bit. Let's see if we can get over the 10,000 mark. Uh, we can re-equip our veterans. Let's do that. Very good. So we've got another unit there for effectively nothing. Uh, and speaking of which, disintegrated. Oh, oh it looks like they fixed it for us. Oh, thank you. Very kind of you. Uh, was that Mongolia? Well done, Mongolia. A little bit of extra capacity. Keep small arms ticking. No one wants to buy any of our goods, apparently. That's a shame. Oh, no. Someone just bought something off us. Happy days. Right, so. What do we want, first of all, to do? War games. How much does that cost? I'm going to do that 
that this time around. Uh, so, zinc, nickel, or copper. Out of the three, I would say copper. Now, where do we want to sell to? I mean, either UK or Chile. I'm going to say the UK. That's good. And to tank. Keep that rolling. Let's get the light infantry branch upgrade. Something just, uh, I think, happened there. I'm not sure what. Oh, someone wants to buy our happy days. That's good. Uh, this time, I'm thinking we're not going to do that. Uh, and I'm thinking aluminium is a good thing to uh, look at. Let's go. I mean, the United States just gave us some money. So let's go to them. Mass events. It's a 38 tech. Artillery. Let's get that. And we can do a party rally. Yeah, why not? That's going to be good. And we can do the zinc. Might as well. I think this time we're going to go with Canada. Cool. So our efficiency on production is good at the moment. Uh, whoa. Let's not have a shortage of money. No, no. Let's get rid of that. Whoa. I'm not going to have a shortage of money. Chill out, game. Let's get, let's get rid of that, because that was horrible. Let's uh, remove all of our descent. Engineer unit training's gone up. And finally, oh, that's a 37, that's a 37, we don't need to do those. Uh, let's get that one, and armor. Let's get the infantry support tank up a level. Probably will build some units with infantry support tanks. So motorized infantry with in infantry support tanks normally goes quite well. Basic education advancements. That's going to net us a little bit more. Um, officer ratio, I think. Let's put it into that. Cool. So that takes us to 2088. So I'm aiming for 200,000 officers by the time the purge happens. Right, and the Spanish Civil War has just occurred. We are going to intervene in that. I just uh, had an issue there. Right, okay, so... We've got some annoying freezing going on here. Sure what's going on. I assume that that's the Spanish Civil War causing that. Let's just drop a save. Yeah, I think that is the Spanish Civil War causing that. Right. We will do the architecture. 1939 tech there. Let's get tank destroyer up. Uh, Special Forces, 1918. Right, I'm just going to go right in to the, the front there. Fifty-six. And to tank, no tank armor. Let's do the pre-war armor construction. Getting really bad slowdown at the moment. Um 
the game doesn't like something. And as I say, I assume it is the uh, Spanish Civil War causing this. Let's uh, drop the speed a little bit. Alright, so the game's doing fine on that one. Even speed 4 looks a little bit choppy. Nope, I think we've yeah, we come through it now. Whatever whatever that was. Uh, uh, but I've clicked off where the revolt is. Ah, here we go. Right. Uh, let's take them, them, you, all of you. Yeah, cool. It's handled. Alright, steel production. 38 tech, that's done. Coal processing, done. Armor plate thickness. Right, so now onto the planes, which are very important. Radios. Let's keep that one going. I'm trying to think of where the best place to drop a unit from there is. Probably one of you guys. Taking their sweet ass time to get up north. Right, so the 1936 purge has just come up as a decision. So let's have a think on, on what, what does that do if we do this? What does it trigger? Faction or I'm gonna drop supply production just for a minute and pump more into normal production. Right, so the first Moscow show trial. Trial of the 16 in December 1935, the original case surrounding uh, Grigory Zinon Zinoviev. Please, I hope that pronunciation is good. To widen in what would be called the Trotsky Zinonev Center. In, 19 in July 1936, Ziminev and Kinivev were brought to Moscow for an unspecified prison. The trial was to be held in August 6th, 19th to August 24th, 1936 in the House of Trade Unions and included 16 defendants. All defendants were sentenced to death and were subsequently shot in the cellars of Lubyanka prison in Moscow. I'll do that. Okay, so we've got a load of things here, so... We will do that, we will do that. So, we shall fight fascism. Uh, which means we get a little bit of support of the Spanish Republic. And we gain a little bit of unity. And we get the gold from Spain, which is a load of money. Let's see the plans. And with that gold we can build something. And I think we're going to build a university here. Yeah, let's do that. We also lost the effects of that money shortage imminent thing. Get the engineers upgrade. Very good. And that gives us the advanced education investment. So small arms is up to 36. Radios. I think there was a broadcasting. Yep, let's get broadcasting. And then let's pump the other bits. Like so. So we've got 24 on our officer work now. Uh, there we are. We're looking a lot healthier now that that money shortage issue has been dealt with. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of this descent. So I'll keep that on consumer goods just for a little bit. Going to lose the supply in eight days apparently, but I think it's worth just holding it for now. Camouflage designs just finished. Airport level one, which makes us a little bit better on resources and air organization, I think. One of our units is a little bit dodgy on supply. Cool. Right. 
We'll go attack there. Twin engine airframe research. Should have eliminated our descent soon enough. Very good. If we can just make it until the 7th of September. Without worrying about the supply situation. We'll get a load of our IC built. Very quickly. So I think it's worth just trying to stick out our supply deficit just for a little bit longer. Up to 183 being funneled into our production. Motorization of cavalry, that's definitely worth getting. Although that is a 39 tech, so we're not going to do that yet. Steel welding. I'm going to let that roll. Rare materials extraction. Happy days. So that's one extra thing that we can do. Let's do medium fuel tank research. We're going to put a lot into our air force. And medium bombers can be quite important for that. And they're both done. Let's get the... Oh, that's a 37. We're not going to do the 37s. The assault gliders are a definite yes. Our technologies are coming on thick and fast now. That's 38, we don't need to do that. Heavy armor forging. Keep that ticking. Supplies, that's good. Assault gliders, let's get the reconnaissance planes. Right. Machine gun focus, definitely. 500 kilogram, uh, kiloton bomb. Kilogram, sorry, not kiloton. Can you imagine what a kiloton would be? A thousand tons of that, wouldn't it? I think I'm combining two different weighting systems there. Metric meets Imperial. Right. Or is kiloton in relation to explosives? I believe it is. Right, we've only got 5,000 supply left. Um, yep. Yeah. That's another... Right, we can expand an airbase. Hopefully that's put somewhere good. 20 there. 60. See, the, these two air bases, or these three, are pointless because they're so far away from the front line. As is that one. That one's not much better. 50. 50. Yeah, we, we need one up here. So, I might see if. That's a level 5. We need a level 10 place over here that we can build up. Alright, we'll construct a new zone. Infantry support weapons. That's a 38 tech, so that's good. And incendiary bombs, because useful. And our first major, I think, IC was just built. So, land warfare technologies, I think, is what we're going to do. Or should we do skies, maybe single engine craft? Yeah, let's do that. You know what, I'm going to just decrease the amount going into that at the moment. and Because we've now had the first sort of major build-up. So we should see a load of IC get built in this sort of area, I think. On the 15th. Okay, so the first Moscow show trial... Will cause all these people to die. And we get some good things out of doing that. So we'll execute them. Did lose some officers though, I think. There's no reason really not to do that. So, politics-wise, that means that we have uh, Shapishnikov, who's a bit better at land build speed, so we'll, we'll take him. Rushilov, 
Victoros. He does aircraft carriers. That's not particularly useful. I mean, why is an aircraft carrier guy in the... Whatever. And I, I prefer the light aircraft practical decay, so I'm doing that. That's better than what we had. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's only one person we had to change there. Generally, across the board, it was better. And we can get body armor. Let's do it. Twenty-three point three one. Still an officer creation. I saw that. Take that one back. Any other revolts? Nope. Looking good. Okay, and our production is well and truly ramping up here. So, yeah, that's all been built all along there. Here, yeah, still building. Where else is a good spot? So, you've got some being built, yeah of you. Let's have a little look at the cities. So, major cities wise, you could do of one because you are just a blue tile. Build one there. Let's have a look at where would be best. So, I mean, Leningrad, for example. We'll just bring you up to 10. Stalingrad. I thought you'd have more, but we'll level you up as well. Cool. So that's a little bit more there. Next couple of days, we'll have yet more IC come online. We are upgrading all of our troops as well at the same time, which is good. And um, we've got yet more to funnel in. Um, I'm just going to build one here because there is a fort there for some reason. So it just feels weird if there's an icon for there to, you know, not be something there. Um, same thing with here, really. Fuck it. We'll just build. Put a little bit there. Down here, yep. Yeah, you're a spot. There's a U. You need some as well. And then Valvostok. Might as well build an IC here as well. Speaking of which, I can build one more there just to bring that up. That um, Karavosk. I have no idea how to pronounce that. So that's nearly taken. Okay, not too bad overall. You can see that sort of built IC number just ticking up very quickly. And we're at the 300 mark. So compared to Germany at the moment, 223. So we're really ahead of them. We want to try and keep as far ahead of them as we can. Hopefully by the end of the year we'll sort of be in a similar sort of state. We are losing a little bit of supply at the moment. I wonder if that's because we're trading. Canada, yeah, stuff that. Let's have that 50. Is that better? I 
That seems to have done the job. We go back into green. On 73. Uh, we've made a shed ton of money over the last few months. Okay, so we've got the light infantry upgrade. So that's at 34. Oh yeah, we've got one left over after doing that. Let's get a twin engine Bombay. And uh, we can start looking at air. We haven't got a four engine airframe. Crazy. 181. So November's when we'll start to get our next lot of IC. Only one more. And then we're looking at December time for another four. And then January up to March, April, May. May, June. Okay. And the cost will decrease exponentially as well. I'm always going to have IC in production as the Soviet Union. Always, throughout this whole campaign. Just to keep the practical safe. And in 1937, I'm going to start building our Air Force. Got 250. That's a nice round number. Right, more production stuff. Still 36. Let's keep them rolling. Two hundred and one. It's a magic number. So, where else should we drop some? One of these sort of major cities that I've heard of back here. Nothing's... Ah, Perm. Alright, we'll drop a one in Perm. You look quite large. Five. Ulfa, you've got a picture, so why not? Anywhere else? How about sort of down here? That's got a picture. Stalinabad. Chokpa. Alta Uma. Matei. Lepsi. Let's make that the uh, the industrial heartland of the Soviet Union down there. Right, we've got a minor research breakthrough off the back of the university. Very good. Up to 251 I see now. Machine gun focus. It's just finished. Um, it's 38 tech. They're all done. Twin engine bomber bay. Basic four engine airframe. Yeah, let's do that. We can pump 205 IC into our production budget at the moment. Industrial actions just being done. It's November where we start to get yet more IC. Infantry guns. Uh, that's 36. Just going to finish it off now. 207. Let's keep going. 223. Right, 34 tech there. That's a 36. They're all 36 techs. Uh, we can do standard infantry branch upgrade. Attack destroyer advance. Let's get light infantry advance. And you know what? I'm going to end it a little bit early. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, look forward to seeing you in the next episode. We'll finish off 1936. 
just because I've been recording for a little while in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks again. Bye-bye.